Hello, this is Mario. In this video, I'm going to talk about what I learned in this first term. So let's start with semantics. This is basically the study of the meaning of words and phrases. It analyzes how language is used figuratively and literally to produce meaning. With semantics, we know how words are used, but not how they should be used. For example, the word blue. In the sentence, the boy feels the car is blue, means the color of the car is blue. But in the sentence, the boy feels blue, means he feels sad or disappointed. We can also categorize each word in the sentence. For this, we use syntactic tree. In the same sentence, the boy feels blue, we have a noun phrase, which combines a noun with another associated word, usually determiners or modifiers. Then we have the verb phrase, which is a group of main verbs and helping verbs within a sentence. If we dig a little deeper, we'll find we have a determiner, a noun, a verb, and an adjective. These are few of the many parts of speech that are in English. The part of speech indicates how the word works in meaning as well as grammatically within a sentence. For example, in the sentence, the old tired man was sitting under a tree and patiently waiting for his son to arrive, we have the main parts of the speech nicely categorized and each part has its own functions to give meaning. Let's continue with the word blue. The house is blue. Blue is my favorite color. Morena lives behind the blue fence. In these three examples we have the same word, but with different uses, so we can therefore group them into different categories. We have adjectives, we have nouns and verbs. These categories are semantic fields. The words in a semantic field share a common semantic property. Most often fields are defined by subject matter such as body parts, landforms, diseases, colors, foods, and a lot of more. Let's use this flower for example. It can be categorized in types of flowers, stuff with the same color, stuff with the same name, and so on. 